But anyways, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back with another video. Yeah. back with another video and if you're new here make sure to subscribe if you're coming back thank you for subscribing thank you for all the support i appreciate it so i'm here with another nail video because y'all love my nail videos so this video was kind of requested and it was kind of in my head already like i want to film this i want to film this but i was just waiting for two new products that came in the mail today which are my cuticle oil and some new drill bits but yeah um like i said if you're new here subscribe and hopefully this helps you out and after this video you guys should definitely 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 go watch all my other videos but first off we're gonna start off with every product that i'm gonna use in this video everything will be linked in the description like always so this 100 percent pure acetone my cuticle oil some new drill bids i'm going to be using valentino um soft touch i believe yeah soft touch I'm going to be using clear acrylic powder by me a secret Mia Secret Dehydrator and Primer. This UV lamp, a buffer, Beatles top coat. Hey girly, so before we start this video, I just wanted to share my code with you guys. Go shop some furry slides. There's many colors you guys could choose from. It's from Fur Toes on Instagram. Everything's gonna be linked in the description if you guys wanna go purchase these my code is going to pop up on the screen make sure to use my code when you check out i'm really happy with these these are cool berry so yeah thank you guys let's continue mia secrets liquid monomer these nail tips this nail cutter this cuticle nail cutter this straight edge nail clipper these beetle nail polishes gel nail polish kds nail glue i will be using this mainly these for this video this is going to be my first time trying these so i don't know if these work or not i will be using this drill nail drill that comes with this and this in this box i will be using my kolonsky nail brush which is in a size 10 my cuticle pusher and also these well they come in a 10 packet but this nail file okay guys so here you guys are just seeing me push back my cuticle and by the way i am sorry that there was crying in the background in my intro my neighbor's baby was crying so i'm just pushing back my cuticle and now i'm just taking off all my dead skin Okay, you guys, so now I got a rounded drill bed and I'm just basically going over the cuticle with this drill bed. I'm trying to do more voiceovers because it has been requested, so hopefully this helps you guys. I'm really bad at explaining stuff, but you guys have been requesting me to do voiceovers because a lot of my subscribers are beginners, nail beginners, so yeah hopefully this helps you guys and anybody that's a nail tech and wants to help me 
out and give me advice i'm here for it leave it down in the comment section or go to my nail page and dm it to me thank you guys for all the support okay so you guys are just seeing me remove all the shine from my natural nail and yes this is important you should always remove the shine from your natural nail before applying your nail tip okay so here you guys are just seeing me put on the nail tips I asked my nail page followers what length should I do my next set and double tips one. So now you guys are seeing me put another nail tip on top of the end of the other nail tip if that makes sense. So here's me just filing my nails after cutting my nails into the shape I want and the length I want. So here I just got my drill and I'm basically just blending in the nail tips to my natural nail and I'm blending in the other nail tip to the other nail tip literally. <laughs> girly so here you guys are gonna see me put two coats of dehydrator on my natural nail only remember only on the natural nail and then you're gonna see me put two coats of primer well you're not gonna see the second one but you will see me put one coat of primer but i actually put two remember you only put this on the natural nail you do this before you put any powder so I don't know where the recording went, but here I'm just finishing off my thumb and I'm about to start on my index finger and the first bead was just not it. I'm a beginner still, so it's okay, but I'm just putting the bead where my natural nail is and the nail tip. So here's the second bead. It looks kind of better and so I'm just making sure I'm wiping down the sides and cleaning my brush every time i swipe and i'm just swiping down softly and i tried to do the three ball method it just didn't work out for me i don't know but i'm still a beginner so i'll get it right one day so yeah i'm just making sure everything is smooth i'm just making sure to swipe all around my cuticle swipe around my nail and keep cleaning my brush as i work through this also i forgot to say this but every time i am getting a bead i tap my powder two or three times i don't swipe it i actually pat it and i know you're supposed to do it at an angle i didn't do it at an angle Sometimes I did it at an angle and sometimes I didn't. But yeah, just make sure to tap it three times at an angle. So I know my nails look kind of lumpy and stuff. Not kind of, but they do. Um, Don't worry. If you keep watching, I am going to fix that. I'm going to file them and everything. Don't be quick to judge. Watch the whole video and then you could judge me. And then comment down some advice after you watch the whole video. I am a beginner. Keep that in mind. So I might do some steps wrong or I might do them right. Or I might like, you know. Miss <laughs>
so here i'm just going in with my clear acrylic powder and i'm just going to put it on all of my nails apologize if you guys hear that noise outside i have my window open and i don't know what that sound is so i apologize but here i am just filing and reshaping my nails because after you put the acrylic powder it does take away from your shape so here i am just filing and filing and filing and filing my nails until I get my shape. <music> smoothing out the nail because you know my application isn't smooth i'm a beginner so it takes practice other people's application are smooth so it doesn't really take long to smooth out the nail and here i'm just going under the nail making sure there's no product under the nail any powder i mean um and i'm just going around the cuticle also just to prevent some lifting and I'm just doing this for all of the nails. grabbing my buffer and just buffing all of the nails since i just filed them i'm just going to buff all of my nails until they're smooth 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 i wash my hands and these are the nail polishes that i'm going to use to do the lines the design whatever you want to call it you guys are going to see what i'm talking about right now I'm just going to grab my gel polish and put a little bit on the paper towel and with my brush I'm just going to create the lines this is my first time doing this so don't judge my lines might be crooked and stuff because I have not practiced this at all so yeah All right, y'all, so I'm just going to do this process for all of the nails. I'm going to keep getting a new color and doing the little lines with the brush on all nails. I kind of messed up on this one, so you will see me take off the gel polish with acetone and do this nail over again in the next clip.
Viking Empire. Fight. to wipe my sides just because sometimes the gel top coat does ruin the shape okay guys so i'm going to put some cuticle oil on my cuticles it looks like i just put some cuticle oil but i actually put some cuticle oil and then rubbed it on my cuticle but i did not show that I forgot to film them. Okay, I did not do a proper outro. So here you go. A beautiful slow-mo of my nails. So thank you guys so much for subscribing to me. If you haven't still subscribed, subscribe and go watch all my other videos. Also, thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it so much. If you haven't followed my social medias, you should. If you haven't followed my nail page, you should. It will be linked in the description. I'm a beginner, remember that. So I still need a lot of working to do my shaping and how I put the acrylic powder and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe for more videos let me know what you guys want to watch and i'll see y'all later bye